Hey everyone, it's Matt from Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews. We're here on Oasis of the Seas and we're checking out an interior connecting room. This is room 9545. It is in the front of the ship. I'd say maybe a third of the way up from the forward elevators. And we'll show that on the map right here. And uh, this is a connecting room. So there's actually a room next door and we'll show a bit of that to you. Also, we're also gonna do a full review on that room. So this is 9545. Let's check it out. So here we are at 9545 on deck nine. Like I said, the, the lobby is not that far up the hall, probably hard to see here, but uh, pretty close to the forward elevators. Let's head on in. And that's a shot of the main room, but before we get to that, as you walk in the room, you have your main door with your muster information and your sticker, or not sticker, magnet to show whether you're in the room or want some privacy. This is the connecting door right here to the room next door. And then you have your bathroom. You also have your master switch to turn everything off and on in the room. Your HVAC controls, uh, the standard dial, uh, some switches for the lighting in the room and your light switch for your room. Floor to ceiling mirror. And then we'll head into the main room. So this is the bed. And as you can see, there have been some children staying in this room this week. So they have their toys laid out in the bed and their towel animals they've been getting through the week. So quite a nice bed for them. You do have side table, the open style uh, side tables with a reading lamp. The same on this side and your room phone. These phones do not have USB ports that I have found, so no charging option right there. Your another set of light switches for the room and a reading lamp. Across from the bed, you do have some nice artwork, some nice lighting for that artwork. Also some nice uh, storage shelves. You've got your room menus here. Uh, back when they were doing uh, paper cruise compasses, or if you're lucky enough to get them, uh, it's a good place to store them and a uh, small shelf. So nice place to take advantage of that storage. So we will circle back to the remainder of the room. Here we have a uh, sofa. It's a nice wide sofa. You can see there, it's a pretty large uh, suitcase they've decided to put on there for the week and uh, still plenty of room. Um, I'm not sure if this is a pull out or not. So I'm not sure if you could have four people in this room, um, but it is certainly a large, rather comfy couch. Uh, some more artwork. You do have another mirror at the end, a table, a place to put your uh, trash underneath the table. And then we have our main vanity. So here we do have a television. I, I think it's like a 37 or 40 inch television. It seems bigger than a 32, but I wouldn't give it any more than 40, probably a 40 inch television. And then you have a, uh, a nice shelf up above it, uh, plenty of room for storage. Down here you have your refrigerator. Notice the door uh, to the fridge is connected to the cabinet door, makes it easy to get in and out of. But I do say, I always say this, I wonder how well they actually close when you close them. You have two really good sized drawers. You can see by my hand how deep these drawers are. Um, so good amount of storage there. This is where you'll find your hair dryer and your tissues. And your vanity area, along with a lighted mirror. You also do have right here, this is your switch uh, for the vanity light. 
and then also a uh, set of three outlets right on top of the vanity. So very uh, convenient to get to. You have a drawer here or a cabinet here where you can store a number of things. They're not very deep. As you can see how hard to see with the lighting there, but my hand does not go very deeply into the cabinet. Um, one thing also showed, it's kind of hard to see, but down underneath here, there is another small little cabinet and you can open that up and there's some extra storage there. And then if we pull this chair away quickly, you also notice down here you have some extra outlets. So you have a European outlet and two US outlets, though the one on top is plugged in. That's where the three outlets on top of the vanity plugs into. So really you end up with one extra US outlet uh, if that's what you're looking for down here. And there's Jackson. Say hi, hi to everyone, Jackson. Hi. Do you want to show everyone your closet? Um, I have to go look at my pictures from Coco K. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you go look at your pictures of Coco K, and we'll show everyone else your closet. Okay. All right. So, you do have a closet here right next to your bed. A number of cabinets for storage. There is a safe. It's a very small safe. I would not, uh, I wouldn't think you'd be able to store a tablet or definitely not a laptop in there. So probably just your, you know, your phones, your wallet, your uh, passports, so and so forth, things you wanna keep safe, your jewelry. And a final storage shelf up there. And this is the main part of the closet. Though so from this door, it's a very small bit of access. So we'll close that side. Open up this side. And this is the rest. They've got their suitcases in there, plenty of hanger space, and a nice large shelf up at the top. One thing I like to notice on these rooms on Oasis is if you can see up here, you actually have forced air air conditioning, which you don't see um, on you see them on some of the newer ships, but not a lot of ships, which uh, I think is great. I think that works much better than the old uh, metal units that would be in the ceiling. In fact, we're staying in a junior suite on this ship and uh, you do not, you know, it has the old units that they work okay, but they're okay. It doesn't, doesn't feel as nice as the uh, forced air, uh, air conditioning and heating. So that's the main room. One thing to note, you do the configuration of this room. You do have the bed first as you go in and then the living area and credenza further in. But let's take a look at the bath. Head on in, oh, need a light on. And this is a standard configuration uh, for a single room on this ship. So you'll see everyone. Uh, you have your single sink and vanity storage, another shelf, and even another one further down. Not a big fan of where they have the toilet paper, but uh, that's the design of these ships where they can fit it in. Your standard toilet. You do have a bit of storage pretty much on this side, this shelf, and a little bit of storage in another trash can here. You have some more storage up on the side here. So a small drawer and then three different shelves to store items. Looks like six, but that's the mirror. And then finally, we do have the shower. It is a stand-up stall shower. This is one of the ones that has two plexiglass doors to close while you're inside the shower. And they open up quite easily. And you do have your multifunction shower head and your water controls. Uh, you do have the two in one hair and body wash, which I think most people know it's not the highest quality stuff on earth. So if you're picky, uh, definitely bring your own. And then other shelf for the items that you do bring and a bar for shaving legs. Oh, and also one thing, no two little hooks in there for hanging whatever you need to hang. 
And that is the bathroom. So one quick, really quick last thing to show is this is a connecting room. So if we open up the door, you'll find you do have a connecting room. I'm gonna do a full review on this room or tour and review, but uh, I just thought I'd show you what you have next door if you decide to book this room and have a connecting room next door. So you'd have this room, which is 9543, and then the room we just went through, which is 9545. So a great setup if you're looking to host a family. We've got two adults in the other side and two kids in this side, and they say this room has been working great for them. Um, the last ship they were on was Grandeur, and they, all they could talk about is how much nicer these rooms are than Grandeur's rooms, which is the absolute truth. So I hope you enjoyed our tour of interior room 9545, I believe I got the numbers correct, here on Oasis of the Seas. It is a connecting interior room, as we showed and described. So whether it's just a few people in one room or if you want to uh, use it as a connecting room. In fact, I would recommend if you're looking for two rooms, this is the, this is the room uh, that you wanna book as an interior room. Great economical option uh, for a family. And, uh, but if you're looking, it's just gonna be one room, I would definitely not look for a connecting room. Uh, that way you don't have that door in between and potential additional noise with people uh, next door. Um, that door will only open if your porter opens it for you and you, you tell them to open the door. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, for, for a family, this is a great set of rooms. Um, I did like the setup of 9545 where you have the bed right when you come in and then a nice open space after that. I think it really worked well for their kids. So that's it for this review. If you liked it, definitely please hit that thumbs up button down below. It, it does us a uh, world of good uh, for the channel. And speaking of the channel, please check out the Cruises Rooms and Reviews channel. Tons of content and if you like it, definitely subscribe. This is Matt from Cruises Rooms and Reviews. Happy cruising, everybody.